Vocals in Melodyne, that's state of the art. But even the best things can be improved. Our legendary vocal algorithm now offers even more possibilities, delivering exceptionally musical results in far less time. You better watch out. Sibilants appear in all lyrics. Here, for instance, there's an S at the beginning of the word. And here's another. These, and sounds like them, are detected automatically by Melodyne 5 and indicated by hatching. And they can be controlled separately from the rest of the word. You could just get rid of them. Or the reverse, silence the vowels and leave only the S's. When you stretch notes, S's aren't affected. Only the vowels are lengthened. That's exactly how the singer herself would do it. And what about pitch? If the singer wanted to sing this phrase higher, she wouldn't think about the vowels and the sibilant separately. She'd just sing the whole thing higher. But wait a minute, would she really sing everything higher? This might be our musical impression, but in fact, sibilants have no pitch. The human voice isn't capable of altering their frequencies. So you can't sing an S higher or lower. It's this, the natural behavior of the human voice that Melodyne 5 now emulates automatically. You don't have to do anything. Sibilants appear to move with the rest of the note. That's just so the eye can follow the melody more easily. But acoustically, Melodyne leaves any S's unchanged, whatever the new pitch of the note. So it all sounds natural. Breaths, too, are given special treatment. This one, for example. Here, too, when pitch shifting occurs, the only change is visual, not acoustic. With timing, though, it's a different story. Melodyne doesn't draw out sibilants or unvoiced consonants because no singer ever does that. But singers do take shorter breaths when notes follow in quick succession. So Melodyne does adjust the length of the breath between two notes, when the space between them is reduced. With Melodyne 5, you save an enormous amount of time. Before, you had to isolate every sibilant by hand from the rest of the world, one by one, throughout the song, a whole lot of mouse clicks. No more need for that. Now you just double click and Melodyne does the rest. Even the smallest addition, Melodyne Essential, treats sibilants with the same sensitivity and realism as Melodyne Studio when the pitch or timing are changed. And from Melodyne Assistant Up, you can control the volume of sibilants individually. And incidentally, this gives you the perfect de-esser. Intervene directly to control problematic S's without all that time-consuming fiddling about with automation. Or you can DS an entire passage, like this. And unlike conventional DSers, you really do only change the S's with no side effects whatsoever on the rest of the vocal sound. In Melodyne 5, the vocal algorithm has gained in musicality in other ways too. Now, instead of taking a simple average, Melodyne is judging a note the same way someone with a trained ear would. How so? When a note sounds wrong, it isn't necessarily because its overall pitch is too high or too low. In fact, what grates is that it's out at a specific moment. Sometimes at the beginning. Sometimes at the end. And sometimes in between. But as long as its crucial spot is in tune, the entire note will sound right. Any fluctuation before or after doesn't much matter. To the contrary, it adds life and sounds natural. Melodyne now locates for you the decisive moment within each note. And instead of basing the display on the average pitch of the note throughout its lifetime, as it did previously, it now focuses on the one moment that matters. So when you double-click on a note, you obtain the musically correct result. The Macro 2 profits from this musical approach, placing every note perfectly in tune, still sounding natural and alive. And of course, the macro knows exactly where the breaths, sibilants, and other unvoiced consonants lie and leaves their sound untouched. Professional results then, with a few, very few mouse clicks.